Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you like fragrance-related content, like first impressions, uh, full in-depth reviews, top 10 lists, fragrance haul videos, and participating in free fragrance giveaways, you're tuned to the right channel. If you like this type of content by the end, I hope you consider clicking that red subscribe button down below. I really would appreciate that. It'll help out the channel a hell of a lot. And make sure you like the video and make sure you click the bell icon to be notified for future videos that I upload like this and giveaway announcements as well on my channel. Today we're talking about a fragrance from the house, the Banana Republic, and there's no other than a new release. This is Grassland. So before the video starts, Big shout out to Steve for Lesson for letting me borrow this bottle. I've been curious about it. I've been trying to find it. It was selling out like hotcakes and it's, now it's somewhat available, but he was nice. Hey, try it out. See if you like it before you buy it, Chris. So thank you so much, Steven. I really appreciate it. I'll leave his YouTube channel down below. He does a re review on his fragrance as well. So take his review and my review and see how you feel about the fragrance at the end. Then I want to talk about the performance on my skin. If I like it, if I don't. So let's start with the presentation. Nice presentation with the bottle. It's nice. I like the greenness and most of the bottles are clear. So this is green with a gray cap. Let's spray this on skin um, and paper and see how I feel about it. So I like the sprayers nice. I will spray a little bit on my skin as well. So, okay. So breakdown we have here is mint leaf, bergamot, apple pimento in the top, the heart we have lavender geranium, ozonic notes and pedigree. Top it off with the base, we have ambergris, moss, sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla. <laughs> oh. Okay, so as soon as this fragrance opens up, um, you're gonna pick up a little bit of mint in the opening. So it's like a good, I would say, three, four, maybe tops five, min five minutes of mint. And I love that little bit of nice mini opening, but it goes away really quickly, which kind of sucks. But they are the top notes, so keep that in mind. They're not going to last and last forever. And then you do pick up a little bit of the apple in it, but mainly in this fragrance here, I pick up more of the bergamot freshness in the opening, which is very nice, refreshing pop. Middle of the fragrance, you're going to pick up um, a little bit of a minty feel from that geranium note that gives it a, um, that gives it a green kind of minty feel. Now, the ozonic notes, I do pick up in the fragrance a little bit, which kind of gives it that feel of like a sea salty feel on my skin, or kind of salty feel on my skin, which is not bad because I do like fragrances like this because it reminds me of the summertime, um, something to wear in a bright, um, uplifting scent type of fragrance, or to wear to the beach or going down to the shore, so on and so forth. Lavender in a fragrance too, but the lavender is not as heavy in this fragrance as other fragrances I've talked about on my channel, like Tom Ford, Beau de Jour. Um, Time for a Lavender Extreme, um, Roger Parfum, uh, Danger, and Navitus Parfums Loudest. What I'm trying to say here is that it's not too pronounced, it's not too heavy, it's not too potent at all. It's very nice and easy going. Dry down the fragrance. So towards the dry down the fragrance, um, there's not really much to be desired about because you smell the, the tops in the middle of the fragrance notes. The dry down, you get a little bit of vanilla, get a little bit of a creamy sweetness, but more patchouli and sandalwood in this fragrance here. Performance. Projection for me, um, it, it, it only radiates about half an arm's length, so about half your arm's length here, and it pushes for the first hour or so. After that hour, it does come closer and closer to the skin, so that first hour is gonna be very critical for people to give you compliments, or if you're gonna land any compliments, or people are gonna smell the fragrance, that first hour is gonna be your critical point where people are like, hmm, smell good today, I like that. Longevity, you're looking at about a good four to five hours on your skin. This is what I've got, about four or five hours, and I did about six sprays, so I did one, two, three, four, five, when I would wear it to work at my warehouse job, so on and so forth. But yeah, about six hours, then I had to reapply it. But it's okay, it's a fresh scent. Um, people do say this reminds them of Green Irish Tweed. Um, yeah, I would say that. It's in that, I would say, 85% um, of Green Irish Tweed. It's not a complete clone of it. Are they trying to make it feel like Green Irish Tweed? I would say yes, but it's not Green Irish Tweed, but it does have the feel of Green Irish Tweed, green, grassy, fresh, uplifting scent. I like the name Grassland because it kind of gives you the idea of, hey, it's a green scent, grassland, grass, green bottle, so on and so forth. 
season occasion. So for me personally, this is going to be a warm weather fragrance um, in my own humble opinion. So I'm looking at spring, summer is the only time I would reach for this fragrance here because the performance isn't the best where it's not going to perform in the fall and winter time. But if you're indoors and you work at a job indoors in the fall and winter, you can obviously spray this on and you're going to smell great. People like the way you smell and it's going to perform the same way it performed in the warmer months. If you're indoors and you're not outside in the dead of cold winter, like in Philadelphia, New Jersey slash Philadelphia area, it won't work in those cold months. Occasions, anytime you can wear this fragrance, you can wear this on a date night. You can wear this um, hanging out with friends, families. Um, I would say you can wear it dressed up or dressed down. I feel like there's better fragrances to wear dressed up than this, but if you don't have a lot of money, you want a nice fragrance to wear, definitely pick this up. I know you can get it for about 60 bucks on fragrancex.com. I think it's $59.50. I'll leave a link down below. This is not a sponsored video by FragranceX at all. I love buying fragrance from there. I bought a probably over 50 fragrances from there and great discounts, great deals, fast shipping. And they're out of, I think, New York, if I'm correct. Anyway, they have this bottle here. Definitely check it out. These are final thoughts. So for me personally, I'm going to give this a rating of five out of 10. It's uh, average. It's not below. It's not over. It's in the middle where it's a nice scent to wear. It's a dumb reach where you can just pick it up, spray and go throughout your day. and You're going to smell good. That's it. I mean, it's nothing that's going to be groundbreaking or amazing, but if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend hundreds to $200 for these fragrances, um, and you just want a nice designer fragrance to wear, and you want to reapply it and use your full bottle and don't have a bunch of bottles like me, definitely check this out for 60 bucks. It's not going to break the bank. I mean, really. This, this fragrance is great if you don't have Creed Green Iris Tweed. This is a nice alternative if maybe your bottle is running out and you don't want to spend $400 for a bottle of Creed, um, uh, uh, Creed Green Iris Tweed or Davidoff Cool Water has some of that fragrance too. Definitely pick this up here. I like the green bottle presentation. And if I didn't um, have a lot of fragrances and I was just new to fragrance, I would definitely check this out here and just wear it until I have money to buy more of expensive fragrance. So I smell good going out and it does have that similarity to Cool Water Intense. I'm sorry, Cool Davidoff Cool Water. I apologize and Creed uh, Green Irish Tweed. So definitely check out Grassland by Banana Republic. Thank you, Steven, for letting me borrow this bottle to review. I really appreciate it. I'll be sending it back to him in a few days. I'll leave Steven's channel down below. Definitely go check out his fragrance channel and subscribe to his channel. Amazing content. Thank you guys for watching another fragrance video on my channel. If you like this type of content, you learn something or you enjoy it, make sure you like the video. Make sure you click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload new videos. You won't miss a beat. I'll see you guys next video. Everybody be safe out there. I care about every single one of you. See you next video. Peace.